Hey guys, gonna start a what's for dinner today. Um, I think I'm gonna make some spaghetti sauce in the crock pot. Tonight we have Bible study, um, and I need to clean my backsplash off, and I have like several other things that I need to do today. So I think that's probably gonna be my easiest bit. Um, is to do that so I'm gonna grab some ground beef from the freezer um, and get that thrown into the crock pot um, just because I haven't gotten it thought out yet so give me a second and I will flip around and show you what I'm gonna do okay so I had this Victoria organic it was filled up probably about halfway it's a 40 ounce jar I got this at Costco I'd opened it to use for, uh, we made homemade pizzas the other night, um, like three nights ago, and I needed to get the rest of the jar used up before it went bad, um, and I put it, so I put the pound of ground beef in there, I cut up one onion, put the sauce on the bottom, and it just didn't look like it was going to be enough for noodles, so I went ahead and added in this can of crushed tomatoes, and I'm just going to cook this on high for like four hours, it's like 12 30 right now so that'll put it at like 4 30 and then i'll just throw noodles in here boiled up noodles and stir it around and all that kind of stuff so i'll come back on here and show you that okay so it's been about two hours now and um i've gotten this pretty much um chopped up man i just cannot get that to focus so I've gotten it chopped up. You can see it's kind of fine. And it's mostly cooked. It's been about two hours. I think I just said that. Um, and I'm just going to keep letting it cook. And then I will get some noodles cooked up. I will do some brown rice pasta noodles. And then I might make some breadsticks. I know I've got some garlic toast in the freezer. So I might just do that instead. But super easy way. To cook up spaghetti and not really have to do anything i'll just have to make the noodles and pour them in here and then serve dinner up before we go to bible study tonight okay guys so i just boiled up a box and a half of this jovial penne pasta it's uh brown rice pasta i've said it before we're not gluten free we just are trying to eat more whole organics and get away from like refined flours I and mean, until i can get my uh grain mill out of storage so I poured that into here I'm just gonna stir this up and then we will eat dinner and I'll either make some like garlic toast or some breadsticks or something but this was an awesome way to make spaghetti I think I'm gonna do it like this from now on just so that it can cook low and slow all day it always tastes better that way and I'm really glad that I decided to do that can of crushed tomatoes because it definitely needed it. Chloe would like to say hello. Hi. Who's that Chloe? She's my daughter, Cream. Okay, great. Hi. Okay, hello. It is Saturday and there's like no rhyme or reason to the amount of days that I do this. It's just kind of when I remember. Um, maybe one day I'll become one of those people who remember to film my dinner every day, but today is not that day. So today, uh, dad is at the state fair and he is preaching at the main gate. And so uh, we've kind of had a chill day. I haven't done too much. I mean, if you can't tell, I did the dishes though. I mean, the sink's empty, that's nice. And the boys are having a good time. Hey, hi, Caleb. Hi. We got a mission for you. Uh, Caleb, say yeah, hi. Okay, oh, okay Lucas. You gonna show? All right. This is what the boys are up to today. Give me one second, Layla, and I'll let you out. So today I'm making something really simple, like ridiculously simple like probably shouldn't even show you it's that simple um, okay let me try that again everybody of course always wants to come in here as soon as i start filming and um yeah i don't know i don't know so this is like one of my childhood favorites um i grew up with a single mom 
And so this was one of the first things that I learned how to cook. Um, my mom always made it with peas and we either had biscuits or we had buttered bread. Um, so let me flip around. So like I said, this is ridiculously easy. So I'm literally making cheeseburger macaroni, but how it's changed is, is that I put, I think you can see it right there. I put bacon in it and I cook the bacon with the hamburger grease. I add extra noodles uh, to bulk it up and then I add a bag of frozen peas. And then tonight I am making a can of biscuits. Um, this is typically what I make when Braxton is not here um, because this is not his favorite meal. Uh, when we got married, uh, this was all I knew how to cook was hamburger helper. And so, um, I literally, we got married and everything, we moved in together, and uh, I cooked hamburger helper every night for probably like two or three weeks. And he just grinned and bared it. I mean, it was different varieties. And you know, we had different side dishes and everything, but that's all I knew how to cook. And we were both working, and uh, he just, one day, he came home just, and he just said, you need to learn how to cook something else. <laughs> And so I did and that's how I started cooking was because my husband wanted me to. So that is it for dinner tonight and uh, yeah, Joshua, can you say hi buddy? He is loving his hands. He's been getting really noisy lately. He loves to talk. Hey buddy. He loves to chew on them hands, don't you bud? All right, so we will see you guys soon. Hi, Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Hi, Caleb. So tonight we are having Kelsey pasta. I did this on a once for dinner a while ago, but this is one of our favorite quick and easy meals. It literally takes less than 20 minutes to put it together. Uh, I will link it down in the description box. Hey guys, so I think this is going to rack up, wrap up this week's What's for Dinner. Um, I have a pocket of time right now. Uh, this one's asleep and the other ones are down for like a rest time. So I'm going to sit down and edit this video and try to get it out. Um, this week so with that being said um, i hope you guys liked this um i'm trying to get back in the swing of filming things more regularly um just figuring out my schedule and everything like that and just when i can fit it in um because ultimately as much as i love doing youtube um my service to my family and my kids and homeschooling and everything will always come first um and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed these meals uh they were pretty easy uh some of our favorites and i'll look forward to seeing you guys next week um if you're not following me on instagram i'll make sure to put my handle down here for you um and yeah so i'll look forward to seeing you guys next time with a brand new video